Hello and welcome to factorising algebraic expressions. Here are three examples that I will be going through today. In the first example, we've got 4x subtract x squared. You need to be able to write this in a factorised form. The first thing we're going to do is rewrite this expression in a simpler form. When I mean simpler, I mean a form that anyone can understand. We can understand what the x squared means and we understand what the 4x means. 4x can simply be written as 4 dot x. All the dot here means is multiply. Subtract x squared, simply put, is x times by x. Now what you can do is have a look at these expressions and figure out what is the same in this expression and what is the same in this expression. Then you can pull that out to the front. As you can see, in both of these expressions, there is an x and an x. So what I'm going to do here is imagine I'm dividing this by x and dividing this by x. So I'm pulling out the x to the front of this expression. There's nothing else that you can pull out from both of these. There are no other common factors. So now, what you have left with inside the brackets from the first term is a number 4, then the minus, and then what you have left in the second term is a letter x. This is the factorised form of this expression. If you want to check your answer, just multiply out again and see what happens. x times 4 is 4x, minus x times x is x squared. So we're fine. We know that must be correct. Let's have a look at the second one here. This may look a little bit more complicated, but it's not when you write it in its most simplest form. x squared means there are two x's in the front. y cubed means there are three y's afterwards. So if we are to write this in a similar way, we'd be writing x dot x for the two x's dot y y y. The second expression, x cubed means x dot x dot x followed by y dot y. Now if we're looking at this again, you can see what you can pull out of this as well. There are two x's here, but three here. That means in both of them, we have a common factor of x squared. We can pull out two x's from here and two x's from here. So at the front of our bracket now, we'll have x squared. Similarly, if you're looking at the y's, you've got three y's here, but only two here, which means you can only pull out two y's from both expressions. That means at the front of your bracket, you've got a y squared. Now there is nothing else that's common in the two terms. So now you open up your bracket and you see what you have left. In the first term, you've got just a y. And in the second term, you've got minus x. Once again to check, you can multiply out your, your factorised form here. x squared y squared times y gives you x squared y cubed. Great. And x squared y squared times minus x gives you minus x cubed y squared. So once again, you yourself know that you are correct there. Let's have a look at the final one here. This has got a combination of numbers as well as algebra. So you've got to consider what you can pull out with the numbers and what you can pull out of the algebra. So let's write this out in its simplest form once again. That is the same as 4 dot a dot a dot b. Subtract 6 dot a dot b. Now when we're looking at this, we need to consider the numerical part first. If you're looking at the numerical part here, you've got a 4 and a 6. 
the highest common factor of those two numbers is the number 2. So if we know we're going to pull out a 2 from the front, you've got to divide both your terms by the number 2. Dividing this by 2 means you have a 2 left over. Dividing 6 by 2 and you'll have a 3 left over. Now we can look at the algebraic part. There are two a's here, but only one here. So we can only pull out a single a from both expressions. Write that at the front. Looking at the b's now, we have one b here and one b here, which means we pull that single b out to the front as well. Notice there are no more b's in the second expression and no more a's. We only have the number 3 left. In the first expression, we've got a 2 from the numerical part and the letter A left over. So in your brackets here, you have 2A minus 3. Once again, check your working out by multiplying out again. 2 times 2 is 4. The A and the A make A squared B. 2, 4, A squared B. Perfect. Looking at the second part, 2ab times minus 3 is minus 6ab. So once again here, you know you're correct.